What I find most challenging about learning general sonography would be the sheer scope of practice. There are so many different things to know, there's a lot of pathology that can happen, so just learning everything is a little challenging because there's just a lot to know. Uh, we cover everything from thyroids, liver, pancreas, uh, kidneys, and uh, it's also a great range of patients you'll run into because of all the different pathologies you'll see, so that's a great experience. The greatest challenge I find about learning general sonography is learning all the pathology. It's a lot to know. Um, there's lots of organs we have to learn about and to scan. I find after lectures, which last about four to five hours a day, I spend about five or so hours post lectures studying at school and ded dedicating my time to that. You learn so much in a, such a short amount of time and you really need to be on top of all your work and make sure you're practicing in the lab because it can get ahead of you if you don't keep on top of it. The thing I like most about learning general sonography is the variety in the types of scans we get to do and how we get to learn them. So we're learning them in lecture, we're doing activities, and we're in the lab with the instructor, instructors, and then we can also come in on our own time. What keeps me challenged and engaged working in cardiac sonography is it's a very dynamic work environment, often stressful situations. I need to really rely on my people skills, problem solving skills. Um, and it's always something different. No two patients are the same. We don't only scan liver, we scan the bile ducts, the carotids, leg veins. Um, we do female pelvises and also male pelvises, obstetrics, all sorts, kidneys, everything. There's so many different organs involved, yet it's never boring. You're scanning the abdomen one day, the thyroid the next, so it gets really interesting. I regularly visit the emergency department the intensive care unit, I've had to scan in the trauma bay, I've had to scan a patient who unfortunately suffered a traumatic brain injury, and I was scanning his heart for potential organ donation. So we see a lot of varied and interesting situations, very important ones at that. BCIT is just an amazing place to do this program. The teachers are all really invested in your learning, and there's good equipment to learn on, and really it's really supportive over here. The main differences between general and cardiac sonography are that general sonography really focuses on a lot of different organs. You see a lot of different types of patients with a lot of different pathology. Um, whereas in cardiac sonography, you'll be focused more on just the heart, and you'll have to really know the hemodynamics, um, structural uh, dynamics of the heart, um, and you really get practice just with that one organ. General sonography, um, I find I really have to apply it in the lab more than just writing notes based on it. It's very hands-on. And also, general sonography, different pathologies can be linked with other organs, while with cardiac sonography, just working with the one organ, um, yes, it can have some systemic problems on the body, but it's a bit easier to learn cardiac because it's only that one organ. One of the more challenging aspects of learning cardiac sonography is the fine motor skills that you need. You really need to be steady with your hand and that takes a lot of time to build those skills up. So that's probably one of the more challenging aspects of it for me. We often deal with patients who are uh, undergoing a very stressful situation in their life and it's really important to remain professional, compassionate, uh, manage my own stress levels, do the best for the patient at that time. Um, there's lots of numbers involved with cardiac sonography. It's only one organ, um, but with the hemodynamics and measurements, um, there's a lot to know and to memorize, and that takes a lot of practice, which I'm still learning. You're focused on just one area, which is the heart. So you're building on your scan routine. You can see yourself getting better and better week by week. I really valued being able to gain hands-on experience, not just during the clinical rotations, but also throughout the entire academic calendar. You really get to focus in on one organ and you get to know it so well, and you get to see how the pathology relates to the clinical question, and you can see it in real time, which is really fascinating. Mm -hmm.